How's it going today, guys? So, I figured I'd do a video on Daphnia. So, oh, I think about a month ago, I bought my first Daphnia culture. I've heard a lot of people have challenging times with Daphnia. So, I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, I've never done it before. So, bought me a nice culture from Ari's Beta online, got it shipped to me. It was probably about 500 Daphnia from adults to little babies. And, uh, so, I set them up in a tank. Five gallon plant tank, no air stones or anything like that, or filters. So I let it be like that. Then I was also seeing the phytoplankton, saltwater brand, about cans, I think. And I wasn't seeing them produce. They were surviving, but they weren't thriving. So then I uh, tried some different, put an air stone in there. I noticed they started to do a little bit better. I kept feeding the phytoplankton and crushed flakes. But like I said, they were surviving, they weren't thriving. I tried next is Hikari's first bites. And it's like a fry powder. I put this stuff in there, tried it for like a week, I think we're at, and it's like population exploded. So I was like, okay, that works pretty good. Um, so I kept up with that, then they started producing, according with those thousands of them, so a five gallon tank. So that was how that works. And then I also, so then I couldn't get no more fry powder because sold out, so I ordered some spirulina from Ken's. Mix it up in water, let it sit for like 20 minutes, so it's kind of like water form. And pour that in. Did that for a good week. And I found that wasn't that successful. So they went back to surviving, not thriving. So now we're back to the first powder blaze. It's probably down to like maybe 1,000 Daphnia. They were producing optospirulina powder. Um, so then I've been doing the first bites again. It's been about a week. The first bites, huge difference. I'll show you that tank in a minute. But I also did three different different tanks. So I did the five gallon with the plants, and then I put the air pump in it. So we did, so we did that tank, then we did another five gallon over here, down here. It was just an empty tank, nothing in it, bare bottom, sponge filter. But it had a big algae outbreak, so I left that in there, and they were actually surviving, then they were thriving. They were feeding off this, this foamy green algae, if you have a term for it. But they were doing great in there, they were pretty producing. Start off maybe 30, 40 in there, and then 40 went to the lower tile. But once that food source started drying up, they started to die off. So then I started feeding the first bites, and then I started trying doing something different with that tank. So what I started doing is water changes with tap water, and then I added the chlorinator, and I found they weren't thriving. I also did a tank up here where I do nothing but algae and just green. Did uh, water changes for RO water and that tank survived so essentially just let them feed up whatever a little bit's in here just wasn't the best but they survived they're pretty hardy overall I find and with the RO water which I've been doing the other tanks they've been doing a hell of a lot better so let me show you that tank so this is the plant tank of honey, but I think it's actually seven gallons. But yeah, I got a bunch of carp plants on the bottom. As you can see, there's quite a bit of Daphne producing. Uh, there's a lot more babies popping up. You see, there's quite a bit. This was like cut down to half the population a week ago. So right now we're gonna feed them. All right, guys. So I don't put much food. I just put very little bit. I just pour it in. Maybe like a nice big pinch worth, I guess you could say. I just want a little bit to fall to the bottom. I don't want like a crazy amount. Because a lot of the babies I notice actually go down the bottom and they like, eat and feed down here before they actually come up and swim with a group of them. Um, when there's not enough food in the water, they all start to disperse throughout the tank. That's when I know I need to feed them. Once they're at the top of the water, that's when they all tend to be eating. Put a little bit more in there since it's a little bit more culture. That was a little too much, so try not to do that. But like I said, they're producing, so they'll eat it. Now I feed them once a day. This probably lasts about two days. That's how I pretty much do the Daphnia. So RO water is what I use for this tank down here that just showed you guys, and I've had great success. Um, like I said, with the dechlorinated water, I used water trail tap and then added the dechlorinator with it as it went in. 
so that's most likely why they didn't do such a great job with that water because of the chlorine. So I'm sure you definitely can do it to chlorinate the water. You probably just gonna let it sit for a few days with your dechlorinator in it. Make sure you get a feed. I'm gonna start a new culture all back in a 30 gallon this summer, probably in the next week or so. I'm probably gonna try it with no air filtration. I'm gonna start off probably by throwing in a big chunk of spirulina powder and let it sit for a week out there, just so that tank just takes off with algae. Then we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that will work out pretty good and I can harvest like tons of it. Because right now, I can scoop some out every day, but you know, it's not like to a point where I can feed all my fish at once. But yet I have quite a bit of fish. I'm into like 27 tanks right now. So, it's a lot of food. Um, I do a lot of frozen. That's why the whole reason I started the Daphne was trying to cut down on my frozen. Because I will spend $100 on frozen food every two weeks. Uh, I buy 16 ounce packages, like this big. I should show it to you, but yeah, so. That's the reason I went with Daphne. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. I just need to expand the culture a lot bigger. So hopefully that will work out. And maybe I'll do an update video on that, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, any comments or any advice, feel free to let me know. Have a great one, guys.